Now following breaking news right now in Kalamazoo, sources telling us that a police officer has been shot. 24 Hour News 8's Joe Lafergi is on top of breaking developments from the live desk for us. Joe? Obviously a developing situation. We have a crew on the scene. This is a scene outside uh, the Biomast uh, Plasma Center, Biomat Plasma Center. It's on uh, Edwards uh, near downtown Kalamazoo, uh, right in the area, basically of Burdick and Kalamazoo Avenue. Several police cars on the scene. This is uh, what we are getting from WKZO Radio, uh, sharing this information that uh, an active shooter was inside Biomat uh, Plasma Center, shot that officer. We do not know the condition of the suspect. We do know the officer, according to sources, was uh, shot, but his the, the officer's bulletproof vest uh, caught that uh, slug, called that round, and that officer is safe. We don't know if it's a male or female officer at this point. We do know it is a Kalamazoo Public Safety officer. This from Portage Public Safety. In just the last few minutes, uh, local residents, please avoid the area of Kalamazoo Avenue and Edwards in downtown Kalamazoo. A KDPS officer has been shot and injured in an incident, and we are awaiting updates on his condition. There is no current risk to the community from the suspect involved that we are aware of at this time. Updates to come. Uh, at the, at updates to come as they are available. Again, that's from Portage Public Safety in uh, Kalamazoo County. Uh, again, our source is telling us in Kalamazoo that officer is okay. That that bulletproof vest stopped that round from injuring that officer. They are okay. We are trying to get more information to confirm what happened inside that building, inside uh, Biomet uh, Plasma and uh, what exactly the condition of the suspect in. This would lead us to believe that uh, suspect is either in custody or has somehow been rendered uh, uh, possibly uh, injured or taken, uh, taken to the hospital if that is the case. We don't know any of this yet. Obviously, this is all developing within the last half hour to 45 minutes, and you can see from our live pictures on the scene a heavy police presence in that area. You know, officers flooding the zone, not just from Kalamazoo Public Safety. You see uh, Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Department on the scene as well. Uh, uh, state police are there. I'm being told uh, state police are there. A lot of the suburban police departments uh, would have been there as well. At least three ambulances on the scene, according to one of our eyewitnesses that we talked to just a short time ago. But I want to reemphasize. As far as injuries, we haven't seen a lot of activity around those ambulances. They are there on the scene, probably called in immediately when uh, any time there's an active shooter scene, kind of an automatic response. But as far as we can tell right now, that officer that was hit is not injured. Again, that bulletproof vest uh, uh, saving that uh, officer from any serious injury, and we're still working to confirm that. Again, information on the suspect. We are awaiting word from Kalamazoo Public Safety. Uh, information from Portage Public Safety, though, that the area is safe, that that uh, suspect has been uh, rendered uh, taken care of, if you, for lack of a better term. Exactly what that means, we don't know, but there is no danger to the general public. That area still remains closed down. We're talking uh, basically Kalamazoo Avenue and Burdick Street in that area. Edwards is the cross street, the exact cross street why, where Biomat Hazma, uh, Plasma is located. That area obviously shut down, and again, you can see from the activity that we're showing on our live pictures, and that will remain uh, probably a very active area for some time to come. Uh, we are again awaiting more information on what exactly happened. If there were any other injuries, we are not hearing of any inside that uh, inside that building. But as soon as we get an update, we will bring that to you live. Okay, Joe Lafergie reporting for us. Thank you, Joe. We'll continue to check back and look for any more details.